The town, the Revelle class surface combatants, are hard to define. According to Italian Navy, they are offshore patrol vessels. But they can quickly turn into first line warships. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating the Tan de Ravel class, another example of modular surface combatant design. The Tan de Ravel class, also known as PPA, combines the Italian beauty of art and state of art technology. PPA comes from the initials of Patigliatore Polivalente d'Altura, meaning multi-purpose offshore patrol vessel. Its modular design offers many advantages, but can it fulfill the initial goals? Before answering this question, let's briefly look at the history and features of the vessel. In the early 2010s, the Italian Navy scheduled the decommissioning of Soldati-class frigates and Minerva-class corvettes. The new Bergamini-class frigates were primarily designed for use in carrier battle groups which made them big, complex and expensive. However, the Italian Navy needed a simple and low-cost solution to replace Soldati-class and Minerva-class vessels. The new surface combatant would be operated more individually as patrol ships. Their main tasks would be the surveillance of larger areas, the protection of civil shipping against asymmetric threats, the implementation of an embargo, evacuation, and law enforcement operations. They would also support rescue organizations in disaster relief and sea rescue operations. So, the Italian company Fincantieri began the design work of the PPA. The new vessel was unveiled at Euronaval 2014 for the first time. One year later, Rome approved the project. The first ship of the class, Paolo Tan de Ravel, was laid down on May 9, 2017, launched on June 15, 2019, and commissioned on March 18, 2022. Initially, Italy planned to build 16 Tan de Ravel class offshore patrol vessels. But in 2015, it reduced the number to 10 ships, including three options. The options were abandoned in May 2021 in favor of eight planned European patrol corvettes. The Tan de Ravel class has a design with a low radar cross-section. The hull is made of steel. The step double bow of the vessel improves the sea keeping by lengthening the waterline, which also reduces fuel consumption. The superstructure is made of aluminum alloy. Thanks to augmented reality technologies, all ship and engine control, self-defense and attack functions are managed from a single room in the bridge of the Tan de Ravel class. This design increases operational efficiency and reduces reaction time and number of crew. The Amit ship is an open-plan multi-purpose area with davits capable of launching rigid inflatable boats up to 11 meters long and a ship crane for containers up to 20 tons. It is also suitable to carry 8 ISO containers with a maximum of 120 tons. Besides, the 25.5 meters long and 16.5 meters wide helipad can accommodate five additional ISO containers. The hangar can house two NH-90s or one AW-101. There is a ramp below the helipad to launch and pick up boats, unmanned surface vehicles or remotely operated underwater vehicles. The vessel has a bow thruster which makes docking operations easy. The Town de Revel class has three variants, light, light plus and full. Thanks to the highly modular design of the vessel, these variants can be quickly converted into another one. The light version is suitable for coastal patrols and law enforcement operations at sea. It carries a 2 megawatt power plant and an 800 cubic meter drinking water tank for humanitarian or civil protection missions following natural disasters. This variant also has medical facilities and a living compartment for 53 passengers. The Light Plus version is suitable for coastal patrol, support and combat roles. The full variant is a first-line surface combatant which can be described as a frigate rather than an offshore patrol vessel. The composition of the dual-band AESA 3D Kronos radar of the Tan de Ravel class changes based on the variant. This radar has four fixed panels. Each includes two radar panels, one in C-band and one in X-band. 
The C-band panels are for surveillance and tracking of anti-ballistic missiles and aircraft at medium to long range. It is also used for guidance of the Aster missiles. The X-band panels are for surveillance and short-range aircraft surveillance and tracking. The full variant is equipped with the complete system. But the Light Plus only has the C-band panels while the Light only has the X-band. All vessels have the SPS-732 Low Probability of Intercept Air and Ground Surveillance Radar and an XKA Dual Band Navigation Radar. The full variant has the ATAS Variable Depth Sonar and the Black Snake Toad Array Sonar for anti-submarine warfare missions, which the others do not have. All versions have a Diver Detection Sonar. Initially, the Italian Navy planned to have two light, three light plus and two full variants. But in 2022, it declared the first two light version ships, Paolo Tandervel and Francesco Morosini, will be converted to full standards. The complement of the Tandervel class changes depending on the variant. The number of the crew of light and light plus is 90, while the full is 120. The ship has a length of 143 meters and a beam of 16.5 meters. The light displacements of the light, light plus and full variants are 4880, 4912 and 4994 tons respectively. Their fully loaded displacements are 5830, 5880 and 6270 tons. The combined diesel and gas configuration propulsion system consists of one 43,000 horsepower TAG General Electric Avio LM2500 plus G4 gas turbine and two 13,000 horsepower MTU20V 8091L diesel engines. The ship also has one 740 horsepower bow thruster. The top speed of the Town de Ravel class is 32 knots. The range is nearly 9,300 kilometers, in other words, 5,000 nautical miles. The armament of the Town de Ravel class changes depending on the variant, but the gun armament is the same for all of them. The 127mm LW-127 gun has a rate of fire of 32 rounds per minute and a range of 30 kilometers with a standard munition. But also, it can fire the Volcano guided rounds with 120 kilometers range. The 76mm Stralis can fire the dart guided projectiles against aircraft and sea skimming missiles. The 42mm submunition of the dart has movable wings at the front and six fixed wings at the rear. So it can perform 40G maneuvers and its effective range is 8 km. The Town de Ravel class has two 25mm KBA 2580 guns with a rate of fire of 570 rounds per minute and a range of up to 2 km. The ship also has four 12.7mm machine guns. All variants can be fitted with up to 8 Tezeo Mark IIe's even though they do not carry them as standard. This anti-ship missile also has land attack capability. The Mark IIe with a dual mode radar and electro-optic homing system has a range of over 350 km. Two 8-cell Silver A50 vertical launching system is not installed on the light variant. But the Italian Navy decided to equip these two ships with this system soon. The Light Plus and full versions already have these vertical launching systems. The Silver A50 can launch both Aster 15 and Aster 30 air defense missiles. The anti-ballistic missile defense capable Aster 30 with a 20 km effective range has a speed of Mach 4.5. The Aster 15 has a 13 km effective range. It has a speed of Mach 3. The Light and Light Plus variants do not have 324mm triple B515 torpedo launchers. However, these vessels can quickly be fitted with them as needed. The B515s are among the standard equipment of the full version. It can launch 324mm Black Arrow lightweight torpedoes. Thanks to its rechargeable battery with lithium polymer technology, this torpedo can be launched many times. So, it eliminates the necessity of use of training torpedoes. 
The effective depth of the black arrow is between 30 to 200 meters. To better understand the Tan de Reval class, we should look at the historical journey of modern frigates and destroyers. The early examples of destroyers had a fully loaded displacement of less than 300 tons. Today, they exceed 10,000 tons. When we mention frigates, we do not obviously talk about a type of a sailing ship. The term frigate was readopted during the Second World War for lightweight anti-submarine warfare escorts. Their early examples were heavier than just 1,000 tons. Current ones are mostly between 3,000 to 7,000 tons. Some examples are close to 10,000 tons. Why have these surface combatants constantly got bigger and heavier? Originally, the first destroyers were called torpedo boat destroyers. Their job was to protect battleships and battle cruisers from torpedo boats. Having a quick fire small caliber gun was enough for it. Then, some naval staff demanded to fit these ships with torpedo launchers so they could attack the battleships and battle cruisers. Later, a new menace emerged, the submarine. So, the destroyer had to be fitted with depth charge throwers. And engineers developed the ASDEC system and sonar. So, destroyers had to carry them. Then the radars, missiles, close and weapon systems and helicopters emerged. The destroyer had to carry all of them. And a similar story has gone on for the frigates. Getting bigger, heavier and more expensive was inevitable for them. So, the navies began to seek more cost-effective solutions for low-intensity missions. But having two different types of surface combatant, one for low-intensity missions and the other for first-line roles, was also expensive. Many countries have worked on modular vessels since the 1980s to solve this problem. A single, configurable platform could be operated on all types of missions. The town de Rival class was created according to this design philosophy. Italy needed a new ship to deal with illegal migration, piracy and environmental disasters. They could also perform disaster relief missions. An offshore patrol vessel was the most suitable and cost-effective solution for such operations. But they could quickly be converted to first-line warships in case of a war. To achieve this goal, the Italian naval engineers used the advantages of modularity. But in the end, can we say that the Town de Ravel class is a cheap and simple solution? The current frigates of many navies are less capable than the new Italian offshore patrol vessels. Yes, the Town de Ravel class is cheaper than the Bergamini class. But also, there are many modern offshore patrol vessels that are less expensive. It seems the Italian navy realized this handicap too. Italy, which initially planned to build 16 vessels, reduced the number to 10. Then, it gave up three optional 6,000-ton Town de Reval class ships in favor of 3,000-ton European patrol corvettes. It is hard to say that the Town de Reval class is a failure like the literal combat ship program. It is partially successful. In our opinion, these offshore patrol vessels are far from answering the initial goal. They are only successful as being low-cost and less capable frigates. So far, we may say that only Denmark, the creator of LEGO, has been able to design a properly working modular surface combatant. Again, we do not assert that the Town de Revel class is a complete failure. It is partly successful as an offshore patrol vessel, but a good and efficient surface combatant. We may even say that it is currently the most successful low-cost frigate. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.